Hey beauties, good morning to you. Um, it has been a few days, I wasn't feeling so well. So, you know, beautiful people. I saw a video that I really, you know, was contemplating how to really comment on it because I realized that there's something, our brains, you know, in, in Jamaica, all of us, there's something, there it seemed to be a disconnect with our brains being here you know and you know placed on top of the body itself i don't know there is there is some kind of a miss there is a miscommunication going on and i think our brains took a walk and it has been a misfit wherever it went and i'm saying that in light of uh there was a video of some police officers and civilians with the civilians obstructing the duty of the police officers Right, with the civilians obstructing the the um, duty um, of the of police officers. Uh, what I at one point I didn't even realize that one of the civilians who was on the ground that was in a fight when when a fight ensued, that he had the gun this entire time. I remember when he t touched the gun. But he took the gun and the police kind of had to back off because I guess they weren't sure what he was going to do. And obviously saving their lives would come first. But one of the things that um, security personnel have said to me as it relates to training is that you never try to disarm a man or woman in security. That's one of the core principles, the core practices that civilians need to understand now, had that man been in another country, maybe the great United States of America, I'm not sure, you know, they would not be singing the song, bringing you back six foot six. There was a man without shirt, a big belly man and so on, I think it was, you know, who went in there. Let me tell you something, you can be charged, you know. When I saw the video, I said, these people have gone, lost their cotton picking mind. When I saw the man throw some fist in the face of um, one of the officers and reaching the dirt on the ground, I said, these people are crazy. Mind you, I should, I should put this disclaimer in. I'm not in support of any form of um, police brutality. I know that we suffer from that, you know, syndrome here in Jamaica sometimes. You know, it has been an ongoing systemic problem. We do understand that. But they're good officers and the officer i don't know he was he they were seemingly carrying out their duties there was a female officer listen to me female officers you have to put your lives first you see when that male strength men I, jamaican when i say man strength come upon a man i would suggest that you do a different tactic than to get physically involved because when, at the end of it, I saw you look, the lady was so haggard. When they don't rough it, you, you, you. <laughs> I know you're trained for it, but you have to be careful when the ma ma man's strength comes in as a female officer. You have to just be very, very tactical, be very wise as a serpent. It may mean that you pull back and if you have to hold your weapon on the man just in case he wants to do something unseeming, then you do that. But don't get into the physical altercation. You can't manage a man. Unfortunately, men are made physically stronger when that when the anger, the rage gets inside of that man and that man's strength in quotation comes upon him. Honey bunny? No. You know, you, you are out of everyone. You looked really ruffled, you know. And it's unfortunate because the people were wrong to be interfering, you know, when you're trying to detain somebody. And the man should not, he should have just complied. He should have complied and you know and 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 um fight later so to speak when i say fight deal with it the right and proper way but not try to fist fight take away the are you crazy listen to me jamaican people you look it's a different as as one vlogger said they must be some christian police officers because another said you may not have you know got the opportunity to tell the tale of what happened do not obstruct a police officer's duty. 
especially if he's not um, it's not a case where you're seeing him taking a gun and firing and shooting at somebody you know doing something that is unlawful but if he's detaining somebody you comply and complain later comply now the man should not have tried to physically assault the police officers i couldn't believe when i saw that man you know like he thinks he's samson taking down all these men he he's lucky i should say blessed that it was a totally different day totally different day had he and he better he better give god thanks that he was not in a different country namely the united states of america it would not have gone down like that and you people who were coming interfering would have been you know amazed or, or whatever it is or tased had you been in a, in another country don't interfere it's, and when i when it's at the end when i realized they took the weapon from the man i said oh my god he had their weapon at all this time i didn't realize i got so distracted with the when him fisting the man in his face and going down on the ground and one hullabaloo and him trying to trip the police officer when he was the police officer was standing there man you know try to trip him with his foot and i'm like what is going on what is really going on in this country the country is it needs some serious battery pull and restart because it seems as if we have not really begun do not obstruct a police officer's duty please i'm asking you beautiful people don't do it your life depends on it those people were lucky that it was a totally different day god must have just stood in the midst and say you know what nobody's going to die here right now not now not today not today god said not today satan not today comply and then you complain later if needs be if you feel that what was done was unjust but for the man to be fighting off the police officer it makes it even worse and refusing to be detained we live in a country where we don't respect people i'm not talking about police brutality no let us put that aside let us say police brutality is not a part of this we generally do not respect people things that we should be fighting um for and causes that we should be fighting we're not doing the same what we do we have strength for each other so we can quarrel with each other we can kill each other we can curse each other out but things that will build the country build the economy build the people in different ways we pull back so we're real cowardice we're cowards It's almost like an adult having a strength for a child. That it, there is no, there is no, um, you know, raising of balloons in that, because naturally you'd be able to cover over a child. That's how it is. That's the best analogy I could give. Comply, then you complain later. Don't try to pull or disarm, you know, the weapon of any security personnel. What if it was JDF? Are you? No, sir. When I saw the video, the man fighting the police, I said, this man is off his cotton picking mind. Crazy as ever. Crazy, crazy, crazy as can be. Please don't do that moving forward. Please beautiful people it is not worth it it is not worth your life and think about the lives of your family and friends do not try to disarm a police officer again and i'm not saying that and unless there's some ex um, extraneous circumstances where you know that the police officer is doing something out of ill will or whatever it is and you have to you know safeguard yourselves self-defense out of a situation unless it's a clear-cut situation like that i can you know i mean obviously the protect the, the saving of life is most important but outside of that allow them to do their duty if they're not doing something like that to try and kill you and you complain you complain later if what they have done is unlawful and unjust we need to deal with things lawfully in this country we need to practice that do not try to disarm a police officer or worse a soldier, please. A word to the wise is sufficient. 
Guys, follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please share this message. Thank you.